Hi everybody, Steve from Steve's Makerspace, and today we are in GameCraft and we are looking at game making abilities in GameCraft. We have some new blocks we'll be looking at that came out with an update. The update also introduced uh, new logic blocks and new uh, physics blocks, and I looked at those in the last episode. So if you missed that, go check that out. I'll leave a link in the description. Um, but today we're going to be playing a simple game called Block Placer. Um, the point of this video isn't this game. The game is really simple. The point is that you can build a game in GameCraft, and I'm going to show you how you can do that. So now this is a game that I made with the new uh, game making blocks. So first I'm just going to play the game and it's called Block Placer and it's available on the workshop and I have the uh, the game on the workshop and I also have this in prefab uh, so you can look at some of this stuff over here. Uh, but let's just play the game to start so you get an idea of what it is. And so it says place all three blocks and you can see at the bottom right it says place blue block, place yellow block, place red block and at the top there's a timer. Um, so I'm gonna get in and what I have to do is get this red block uh, into there and the yellow block into there and the blue block into over there. Um, and when I cross right here the timer will start. So let's go. Let's see how well I can do this. Come on. There we go. And you see the red block is now checked. And come on. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, I think I'm going to have to start over. This is might not be recoverable. Come on. Oh, that's part of the challenge is not, not falling off the edge. And I think, no. Okay, let's start over. I, I failed that one. Okay, try it again. Oop. And red, there we go. And of course you can play multiple times, oh boy. And uh, try to beat your time. Oh, I missed. <laughs> All right, let's, let's do the blue one first. Um, oh no, oh, I'm trying to go too fast because I'm trying to impress you guys. <laughs> so, timer started. Whoa, no, 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 oh. <laughs> Come here. Okay, yes, that, that's great. All right, let's go get the blue one. No. All right, yes, there we go. Blue is placed. Whew. All right, red. Red is placed, ah, yes. And then yellow. No, 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 no. Ah, man, I almost had it. Okay. Don't fall off the edge, Steve. Come on. Whew. Uh, no, no, too much, too much, too much. Oh, I don't. My time's gonna be bad, but I think a little bit more. No. All right, let's just come at it from the front. Good job, you finished in 126. All right, that was a terrible time, but uh, you get the idea. Okay, so let's see what's going on here. So first we have the opening message. So it says place all three blocks and it lasts for three seconds. And that just comes on automatically, so I don't even have anything attached to this. Um, then when I get in the seat, you can see I'm setting the camera distance. So set camera zoom distance 8. So that way you don't have to zoom out. Uh, and then show objectives. 
So this place red block and this is coming from way over here. So let's see what's going on here. So if we, first we look at here, we've got object identifier A here and we have the object uh, filter A and this on stay trigger is going to the object filter. So that means when the the red block gets into here, then this is going to get triggered and that is going to go over here. Right? And it goes to the uh, objective HUD, this one. It's also going to this AND block. Uh, so and this one is coming from the yellow slot over there and this one is coming from the blue slot over there. So those are the three objectives that are being checkmarked. Uh, then this, this is an on object enter uh, trigger and this is going and this is going over to this timer. Uh, so that starts the timer. Uh, the text of the timer is going to here to the stats uh, HUD and that's showing your time. Uh, and I don't have any label here, it just shows your time. I could put a label here that says uh, time elapsed colon and then it would show both the words and uh, what's uh, on the timer. Okay, so then um, the ands are checking to see if all three objectives have been met. So if all three objectives have been met, then these ands are true. Um, and two things happen. One, the timer stops. And two, the uh, message goes here to the center console and the message, good job, you finished, in, and it's, whoops, darn it. Okay, we really need an undo button uh, in this game. <laughs> so it says, good job, you finished, in, and then it's also getting uh, input from the timer. So it tells you how much time you took. So that is how this game works. Uh, what else? Oh, um, also I've got these movers uh, putting downward pressure on the car so that it doesn't do wheelies. So that's nice that we've got the mover to be able to do that. That way we don't have to weigh our car down with a ton of uh, material. So besides the object filter, we also have a team filter and a player filter. Uh, so the player filter, the way this works is uh, it knows what player you are. So I'm player one right now. If I had somebody playing with me, uh, they would spawn in and they would be player two. Um, and so when I press this button, the button is connected to both of these player filters and this filter is connected to this piston, this one is connected to that piston. When I press this, this piston goes up. If player two was here and he pressed this, then this piston would be going up. Uh, so that's pretty neat. Uh, it works the same way. This is an on stay trigger in this area uh, connected the same way that that button is connected. And if I go into this area, then this piston gets triggered. Whereas if player two got into this area, this piston would be triggered. So uh, pretty nice. The team filter works similar. Uh, I am on team one or team A. Uh, and so if I press this, then this piston is going up. If I was on team B, then when I press this, this piston would be going up. Uh, right now we can't assign teams, but the team will be, uh, when we do assign teams, it will be uh, using the command. So I'll just go in here and say change team uh, and that'll, that's how that will work. Uh, right now it doesn't work for us, it only works for the devs. Okay, so that is how you could make a simple game. Obviously this is a simple game, uh, but you could make you know really complicated games uh, using methods like this. So that's going to do it for this episode. I hope you learned something. If you like this episode, give me a like. Consider subscribing to my channel. 
Uh, give me some comments. What kind of games are you going to make in GameCraft? What do you want me to make in GameCraft? Uh, let me know. So, as always, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye now. Steve's Makerspace.